go to glory with me bam ba bam ba my lord come go to glory with me bam ba bam ba my lord come go to glory with me bam ba bam ba my lord come go to glory with me bam ba the God the Avano, Bam Bam Ba, Bam Ba, my Lord, come go to glory with me, Bam Ba. Come go to glory with me, Bam Ba, Bam Ba, my Lord, come go to glory with me, Bam Ba, Bam Ba, my Lord. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sister Lamani, and I will be here speaking on both. But before we speak on growth, I'm going to do a quick prayer. Father Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning. And I thank you for waking everyone up this morning that's here to listen to the, this devotion. I'm praying that everyone will have a great start of their day this morning, Father Lord. I'm asking for wisdom, knowledge, and strength, Father Lord. I'm asking for understanding, Jesus. I'm asking that you keep everyone who's watching this video and everyone around the world under the cover of your blood, Father Lord. I'm asking that you hold on to these listeners, Father Lord. I'm asking that you give me the words and the knowledge so that I can strengthen these people, Father Lord. Somebody out there needs to hear this, and I'm the one that's going to help them, Father Lord. I'm asking that you help me and to use my mouth for good things, Father Lord. I'm asking that you help me to use my knowledge to spread and that I won't be shamed of what I'm doing, Father Lord. I'm asking that anyone who watches this video spreads the word of knowledge, Jesus, and that people can get a cry, a, people can save other souls, Father Lord. I'm asking that you help people who need a cry for help and just hold their hand, Father Lord. I'm asking that you keep everyone under your blood and keep everyone safe as they go on their journeys today, Father Lord. I'm asking that the words that come out of my mouth today can change someone's mindset and maybe they can change someone's mindset as well after listening to my word, Father Lord. Amen. So today my topic was growth and the basic meaning of growth I have here is learning more about spiritually. The meaning of growth would be learning more about and leaning into God. So I have a few key points that I want to pinpoint about the topic of growth in the spiritual realm. So the first key point would be focusing on your relationship with God. To grow, you need to have a relationship with God. In order to have a relationship with God, you need to maintain prayer which is my second point. Prayer is what brings you closer to God, is what keeps your relationship with God intimate. An intimate relationship with God is always what's gonna help you grow on to the next step, which is the basic meaning of growth, leveling up. The third point would be meditation on the word of God. In order to have a relationship with God again, you need to meditate on him. You need to meditate on his word. You can't grow if you don't know God. If you don't know the word of God. And if you cannot marinate and break down and understand the word of God, then there will be no lifting your standards and leveling up. My fourth point would be seeking wisdom. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are the top three things I pay I pray for whenever I pray. Whenever I talk to whenever I talk to God, whenever I speak to him, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are my top three points. Always. Wisdom is what's gonna help you make sure that you're knowledgeable in the word of God. If there's any topic on God, but you can't have the deep understanding and wisdom about it then you won't be educated in the word of God and whatever is coming out of your mouth won't make any sense it wouldn't mean anything there's no need there's no growth without wisdom wisdom is the ability to know a point or know a topic 
well. Point and topic being God and growth in this situation. My last point would be obey his word. Obeying his word is a huge part in focusing on your relationship with God and growth. Obeying his word is what's going to help you grow. Without obedience, there's no submission and your authority is confused. Your authority being God. You have to obey the word of God in order for God to grant you that ability of growth. Because growth is not something that comes easy. And you have to understand your mistakes and understand your wrongdoings in order for you to be a better person and grow. Jeremiah 12, 2 says, You have planted them, they have taken root, they grow and bear fruit. You are always.